When you reach out to employers or new clients, no character trait, long fancy resume, or promises will matter nearly as much to them as being able to see the work you've done for others. For this reason, your portfolio is the single most important asset you possess. Hi, I'm Michael with Bizarre Design Lab. I'm a Michigan-based small town creative. So I got this idea to reach out to a group of graphic designers to see if they'd let me do a peer review of their portfolios. 41 of them said, yes, please. Today, I'm going to review one of those brave souls, Carolina. After that, I'm gonna share this resource, The Mind Reader, to show Carolina and all my freelance friends how to get inside of the head of your clients and get your projects approved much quicker. So stick around for that. Now, let's dive into Carolina's review. First impressions, I think it's great that your homepage showcases your friendly face. You appear very genuine and likable. The layout of the page itself has this playfully whimsical feel to it. Your logo is placed front and center at the top, that's great. If I refresh this page, it has a subtle interactivity to the scroll, which is cool. The flow of information is pretty easy to digest. I'm not a big fan of this font. I don't think it makes a great display font. I would probably go for the same one that you're using for the rest of the headlines on the page. When I clicked on this, I was kind of hoping it would connect me to some actual logo designs, but instead there's this write-up. And I do think it's valuable to tell clients what services you offer. I'm just wondering how you can integrate these write-ups alongside the work so you can read the description and then see a visual example right there with it. Here's an example of how another designer pulled that off. All right, let's move on to the portfolio page. I think this animated explainer type video is a really good tool for you. You should definitely be sharing this video with prospects. It just gives a fun, thorough view into your work. Really nice. These circulars are really well done. It's always a challenge to assemble a lot of information onto a single page, but this works. Down here would be a great place to put a link to the next heading, which is flyers, posters, and branding. So I gotta say that I didn't care much for this section at first. I think it's because I have so many options to choose from. But then I clicked on one of the thumbnails and I can see that some of your strongest work is in here. So I don't know if you wanna increase the size of the thumbnails or just take people right to the slideshow. It goes to this idea of singularity where people don't like to be overwhelmed with too many options. This branding project is a little out of place here. I personally think it belongs here with your logos. This slideshow is good. It is automated, but it still gives me the ability to move through these at my own pace. Okay, moving on to artwork. Once again, it could just be me, but I'm so bombarded with information here that I struggle to make a choice. A minute ago, I talked about singularity. Think of it like this. Imagine that I have a softball and I threw it to you. Unless you're highly uncoordinated, you'd probably catch it. But if I threw two softballs at you, you wouldn't catch either one. So we're trying not to present our target with more than a few things at a time. Maybe this page could start off as a slideshow so there's this consistent pattern from one page to the next. Plus, it would really allow clients to see your work up close because this is good stuff and we don't want them to miss it. Okay, here's your About Me section. So this is like a bio. I like the layout of this page. It looks like you could combine your About Me and Home section to sort of have one place for your audience to learn about you and really simplify the site as a whole. The contact form is real easy to find and you give them a couple ways to get a hold of you, which is great. So there's your portfolio review from the perspective of a small town creative. Now, as promised, here is your valuable resource, the Mind Reader. If you're a freelancer, you know that every client has different expectations for their design work. For us to understand what they're looking for, we need them to communicate those expectations to us. The problem is, since they're not designers, they don't know a thing about the fundamentals of good design, and we shouldn't expect them to. But if we want to create a pleasant experience for our clients, it is our duty to extract this vital information from them very early so our clients feel like we get it. And then they reward us with those beautiful words, design approved. That's what the Mind Reader will do for you. If you'd like your free copy of this, click on the link in the description. The goal of my channel is to help you survive and thrive in your journey as an independent artist. I'd love to have you join my tribe. All you have to do is subscribe 
and ding the notification bell. If you like this video, please let me know by clicking that thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.